Howdy folks, High Value DMD. In this video, I'm gonna talk about becoming an orthodontist. You have to be insane to want to become an orthodontist. So a lot of people, when they think about dentistry, a lot of people start out wanting to be an orthodontist for a variety of reasons. They see what orthodontists do, and really they see what orthodontists don't do. If you go to an orthodontist, if you ever had braces, you'll notice that at the office, the people who do most of the physical work are the assistants. So people see this and they think, oh, this is pretty easy. This is what I want to do. This looks pretty easy. So how do I get into this gig? And so people see that and they go to college and they take a bunch of science classes and they get on the pre-dental track and so they will go to dental school or whatever. What many people don't realize, there's so many issues with orthodontics nowadays. And I talk a lot about dental school, becoming a general dentist. There's a lot of issues with orthodontics. Let me tell you about it. So everyone who is an orthodontist first becomes a general dentist. So you have to go to college, you have to go to dental school. And then when you graduate dental school, you apply to residency training in your fourth year of dental school. And then hopefully you get accepted to residency training and then you go to an orthodontic residency. This is just like medical school. Because uh, all, all people who go to medical school, they must apply to a specialty in dentistry. It's optional. So that's how you go into orthodontics. Usually you need to be at the very top of your class or in the top 10 or top 10% or whatever. Uh, that's definitely recommended, um, if not required. Excellent grades. You have to have good research. You have to have done a lot of good things in dental school to qualify to become an orthodontist. But here's the catch. Here's the bad part. So medical students, medical residents, when they're in their residency, they get paid. They've got student loans, they're accruing interest, but they're getting paid. They're getting paid roughly around fifty to seventy thousand dollars a year. So they're getting paid to live. They're getting paid a wage to be able to pay their bills, to pay their rent, to pay for food. So they're not having to take any more loans out to live. But here's the bad thing about a lot of dental residencies. You have to pay tuition. You heard that right. You're a licensed doctor. You're a, you are a dentist. You have a dental license. You have the ability to earn a living as a dentist. But as a resident in a dental residency, you pay tuition. And this is like this for many residencies, such as periodontics, for endodontics, and orthodontics. So we've talked on this channel about how much dental school costs. Many dental schools regularly, it's $100,000 a year. When you're in orthodontic residency, guess what? It's anywhere from $70,000 a year in just tuition to some places it's $120,000 a year easily. Just for tuition, we're not talking about living costs like paying your rent, paying your bills, paying for food and all of that. So even in orthodontic residency, many times people have to take out loans to just to make it. And so there's a very famous example on YouTube. Uh, someone called into the Dave Ramsey show and said they were a million dollars in debt. Well, lo and behold, that person is an orthodontist. Do you think becoming an orthodontist is worth a million dollars in debt? I don't think so. I think that that's honestly absurd. You have to be insane to do something like that. You have to be a complete moron to go $1 million in debt to be an orthodontist. Look, you'll make decent money, right? You can make $400,000 a year, $500,000 a year as an orthodontist. But when you're an orthodontist, you're now, what, 29 years old? You're 30 years old, okay? You want to start your life. So you get a house, you get a mortgage, you want to maybe take some vacations, right? You want to live your life, but you're paying interest on a million dollars a year. You're paying 5% interest on a million dollars a year. I'm just putting that out there. I mean, there will be less. People will make, be in debt seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars dollars $800,000 to be an orthodontist, but regardless, you're paying 5% interest minimum on loans like that. 
and then you're trying to pay your bills to live, and then finally you're trying to pay money to pay down that debt, the principal on that debt. It's just, it's, it's, it's crazy, folks. It, it's cost prohibitive to be an orthodontist in today's age. It used to be a a, a gold and in 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 money profession. It used to be tuition used to be very very low, and and not as many general dentists did orthodontics as much as today. So mo- most of the easy cases that are the easy money making cases. General dentists are doing those cases, and so the orthodontists are having to do the harder cases, and the 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 atmosphere just isn't what it used to be. When I was young and when I was shadowing, I really wanted to be an orthodontist, but now it honestly just seems out of reach. It doesn't seem worth it, and the landscape, and here's another thing, folks, I want to tell you about. There are many new orthodontic programs that are... Uh, that are privately owned, that are popping up, that are just pumping out orthodontics, orthodontists. So historically, most programs were only about two to three residents per year. Well, now some of these people that are backed by corporate um, America, people who have millions of dollars, they're making their own residency programs and pumping out 10 residents a year, 20 residents a year. There's one program, I won't name the name. It is currently training 45 residents a year, and that's a three-year program. So this is an entire school made to churn out orthodontists. So that profession is going to be saturated. Eventually, in the next 10 years, it will be so saturated and and um, salaries will plummet inevitably. That's how it works. The more saturated it is, salaries will pro- pro- uh, will plummet unless demand goes up and keeps up and keeps going up. But at this rate, orthodontics is not looking good as a profession, and I do not recommend someone to go into orthodontics. And it really has me worried not just for orthodontics, but for dentistry as a whole. I don't like to see this. I don't like to see saturation. I want to see a competitive space, a space that is rewarding merit, that is, um, you know, only has the best of the best. And when I see tuition to be an orthodontist, when I see programs just pumping them out, anybody can become an orthodontist. You just have to have money to be, it's a pay to play system. I don't like to see it, and uh, I don't recommend it. So if you have any questions about my experience or or maybe what I've learned along the way, you know, I, I know people. I used to work for an orthodontist, and, and so I, I know people in this community. Um, you know, if you, if you disagree with me, please leave a comment. Um, and if you like this video, like it. But let me earn your like. Let me earn your su- subscription, folks. If there's anything else you would like to hear about, please let me know. And I'll see you next time.